Hey everybody, it's Evan, and let's do this. This is how I handle bulk chicken. So you can make some sweet and hot chicken nuggets, you can make some snack sticks, you can make some jerky, or you can just, I don't know, grill chicken thighs. <laughs> I make a pretty sweet uh, Dijon uh, crusted uh, chicken thigh that turns out really well. I like chicken thighs more at breast. Yeah, they have a little more fat, blah, blah, blah. But anywho. Um, I unpackaged it all. It was $1.19 a pound. This whole 40-pound box cost me about $47. And as you see, I keep it bulked up too. I have like two five-pound bags that I just throw back in the freezer because I don't know what to do with it yet. But I do about pound, pound and a half bags. Get white wrap. A roll of white wrap paper. I don't know. It's probably 20 bucks. Right on it. Chicken thighs, chicken thighs, chicken thighs. Look at that. I have enough meals for weeks. Uh, me, wife, two kids, family of four, take one of those packs out, defrost it, cut it up, make fajitas, uh, and then I'm going to grind up about 15 pounds, and then I have ground ready to go for tacos, for hamburger helper, I'll make with chicken instead, um, chicken patties, just throwing them on the, keep them kind of frozen, but you can do them in the patties and throw them on the grill. You don't want to throw chicken thighs patties on the grill fresh because they're just going to fall through the grates. The trick is keep them frozen, throw them on there, and then you'll be fine. They make great patties. So here we are done grinding. Grinds up really fast. Only one time through on the uh, smallest hole. Clean up as a cinch as a carnivore one horsepower grinder. And then just wrap it up. You know, eyeball it. It has to, doesn't have to be exactly a pound. But I'm just showing you how easy this can be. Thanks for watching. Hope this takes some of the fear away from bulk buying. Go out, you, and save some money.